to Krishna Prasad, the MD of Granules India, who joins us uh, from uh, Hyderabad. Hi, sir. Thanks so much uh, for joining in uh, this morning. Uh, uh, first things first, your first half of the year has been quite good. I think you expect your second half to, of the year to be much better because your guidance states uh, that your revenues are likely to come in higher by close to around 20% for the year. So you're expecting the second half to be good. And margins as well. Currently, I think it's at around 18%. You expect it to go from around 18 to around 20%? Yeah, 20 is the target, but I, I, would, uh, I would be happy if it's between 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, like you said, the top line is bound to grow and the margins also are going to be in line. Okay. Um, you know, can you tell us a little more about your Omnicam JV? Um, you know, you have indicated that revenues from there would go up from, say, current 100 crore to 550 crore by F520. What would be the concomitant increase in your margins? Margins in cramps business are relatively high, and it's also a factor of uh, capacity utilization. The first year, when we, to, uh, this year we expect to do about close between 90 to 100, and uh, that would be about 30-35% uh, of capacity utilization. And we expect to do a cash break even this year, but as we go by, next year there will be a nice profit, and the year after that, when we go to about 70% uh, or 80% uh, capacity utilization, the margins can be upward of about, EBITDAs can be upward of about 30, 30%. Okay, so you um, hit capacity utilization by F5, 18? 18. 18, we would be touching about 70, 80%, but in the cramps business, you always need to keep some spare capacity, and we already have plans to uh, start expanding, and maybe next year we will start construction of a new block and double the capacity. All right, uh, Mr. Prasad, uh, your uh, PFI business currently contributes uh, close to around 25-27% of your total sales. I believe that you had a capacity of close to around 4,000 tons uh, that came on stream. Uh, what kind of uh, revenue traction can we see on that front? Uh, the PFI would be increasing by about, uh, I would see 15-20% to 20 increase this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, all that, uh, we would not be able to utilize the entire capacity of the new module because more products have to be validated there. This year we expect about 60 to 70 percent utilization of this capacity and that would yield about 15 to 20 percent growth in the PFI business. All right, so your PFI business now as a revenue contributor, it would, uh, it would increase from around 27 to what levels? And also in terms of margins, what can we expect? What's the impact of that? Margins overall is a mix of different uh, factors Correct. and uh, PFI does contribute uh, to an increase of margins and Overall, we expect to be close to 20%. Okay. You were aiming to file four ANDAs in F516 and maybe another 14 by the end of F517. Are you on track for that? And any this year, uh, in the next three months, uh, we expect to do about uh, two to three ANDAs this year okay. and maybe eight to nine ANDAs in the next year. Uh, we have been focusing on uh, very complex molecules and rather than file numbers, we have uh, gone the way of filing uh, quality and uh, highly marketable products. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Prasad, uh, you know, for uh, FI17 particularly, metformin is going to be uh, the big drug because I think the capacity of there is going to go up multifold. Uh, could you tell us what is the contribution currently, what is the margin currently, and what is the potential that uh, we can see, uh, see coming in? Metformin today contributes about 24% of our uh, top line. Okay. And uh, as we go by, even when the new capacity comes in, it's capacity for the API. And that needs to be, uh, we need to file uh, amendments to our NDA. And we expect uh, the production to start in uh, June of next year. And it could take anywhere from three months to a year for the approval from the uh, FDA to come in. And once that comes in, today actually we buy API from other sources. It's not that uh, the top line is just going to go up, but the profitability will increase because most of the API will be produced in-house. But we also expect uh, metformin to grow by about 10% uh, 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 over the next few years, year on year. Okay. You spoke about upping your capacity. Uh, what would be uh, the total fund requirement for that, and how will you get those funds? The total uh, fund requirement for the next two years, current year and next year, is about 450 crores. And 140 crores would be for a new API plant and 70 crores for increasing the metformin and other capacities. Our reverse plant will be needing about 80 crores. 
and for filing ANDAs we'll be spending about 90 crores and the rest is for normal capex and this is being uh, brought in by out of this about 200 crores plus is being brought in by me by way of way of warrants and all that money should come in by first quarter of next year and the rest will be internal accruals all right uh, mr prasad thanks so much for joining uh, joining and giving us all those details all the best for the second half of the year as well as in terms of your expansions that are coming on stream uh, but uh,